Hi everybody, welcome back to Seventy Cages, episode 67 with me Sid, and this is the first episode I've recorded since I got back from uh, my jolly days, and uh, I'm just kind of working out what I did last episode and what was to do. Um, so last episode we worked, we ripped out most of this basically, and re reinstalled all the um, distillation tower and put some more tanks in, but we've still got some more machinery to put in. However, before we do that... Um, we created this, the brick factory over here, and you know it works. It does the job. But one of one of my long-term viewers and uh, and uh, server par partners actually who played a lot on uh, the original Mage server pointed something out. Well, he pointed several things out, and um, um, not least of which is that me and Redstone don't mix. No, <laughs> pointed out this simple, simple. Oh. Down. Give me them blocks back. Simple, simple problem here. And that is that we didn't need to do this. Do these come off better with wood? They do. With a, with a chopper. We didn't need to do this. All of this, this. This was largely pointless. Um, now, obviously, we can still use the conveyor belt here. And that will do the uh, same thing. But what we can do is we can daisy chain all of these down here. So we don't need a conveyor belt. That, that won't work. Um, we can just run these all the way down. And these things will just daisy chain all the way to the end. And then chuck their bricky goodness out the other way. That was that was pointing number point out number one. The other one was that this is largely pointless. We might as well just load the minecart up and stick a, a lever on the end. And again, I I I think yeah, I think you're right. Um, we're the easier ways to do this. So I'm going to make a quick tweak to all of this, and we'll stick a bit of. We'll go and harvest another batch of clay. We'll take those bricks out, ready to become lovely bricks. Well, they are bricks. The brick blocks. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a moment. Alright, me now um, spent uh, 20 minutes or so gathering clay uh, and ink because I remembered that I was using the dark bricks, not the uh, normal bricks. So these are all plumbed in and this should now if we take our box of clay bricks well actually clay balls let's let's not beat around the bush they're balls um and we can basically fill you all the way up and set you running and that should work a lot better and you know neil's obviously absolutely right there's no point in using hoppers to fill this system because we didn't really use them in that way so yeah off you go and the benefit to this of course is that we will also not pick any of these up when they go by so all of these should just be coming in quite happily chug 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 um, I did take out the conveyor belts entirely so now this is entirely on hoppers and they gave me some spare hoppers and uppers and stuff so all all, all good stuff um, now we do need to make more of these dark bricks these are as I recall that and we need black dye powder okay so no point having ink sacks we need to make black dye but do we use ink sacks for anything typewriter do we all right I'll rephrase that do we use ink sacks for anything that we actually desperately need clipboard maybe we, but if i ever want one of those i'll make them void transport pipes possibly created ink sacks well and written books and fluid bladder um a bit in 
Blood magic. Uh, not really. They're not heavily used, so I might as well just convert them all over into uh, into black dye powder. Which is simple enough. Let me just go and uh, look at this lovely festive, festive feel to the place. Off you go. Right, so that's doing that. Um, now, in terms of inventory space, in terms of stuff, we've got a whole load of these blocks. We also are going to want to make glass, but I'm thinking that we'll make, because glass is a pain to make normally, well, it's not a pain, it's just not the easiest of things. You can put it in an arc furnace. Um, which is going to cost a fair bit in power, but the power is technically free, although we do use the um, rods up for that. Or we can use that, which is one to one on um, glass. I suppose what we could do, let's have a think about this. We could make another redstone clock. Um, that might be the answer. See, the problem with glass is not the smelting of it. That's just, you know, whack it in here and turn it on. Um, it's the pouring of it. Let me just get rid of that. Because this takes a while. And then you have to wait for it to cool. And eventually it spits out a glass block. Now, if we were using one of these over here, then that would make life a lot easier, wouldn't it? I'm going to have to drain this system of smoke. So what I'm thinking is what we'll do is we shall move that to the middle. Um, so that will be our feeder system. And then we can have one of these over there. Probably with the lever on that side. But, you know, that's fairly minor. We need one, two, three, four of those. We need some, uh, was it iron? Block of quartz and aluminium plate. Ooh. Ten, ten. One, two, three, four. I only need a quick few of those. So we'll do those. And we need a block of quartz. That's easily done. Uh, we just need to empty that. Let me get that done and then we can get some glass going automatically because I'm thinking I'm going to do a glass, well, chain fence, in quotes. Air quotes. Chain chain fence with... Um, uh, there is actually that concertina wire, isn't there? I think. This stuff, razor wire, but it's not cheap. Get three per. Uh, how would it look on the top of a fence, do we think? Well, there's one way to find out, isn't there? <laughs> uh, although, to be fair, there are probably easier ways of doing it. Mm, I'll, I'll hold fire on that, I think. So, block of quartz, block of quartz, block of quartz. Give me a block of quartz, please. Thank you very much. Do the stuff. Oh. And do... I think it was that way around. Redstone clock, I need a lever. Uh, somewhere. Misc. Wooden items. <laughs> My inventory. One day we'll get it sorted. It's it's not bad. It's just not good, you know what I mean? Anyway, yeah. Let me just uh, finish off getting this in. And that will go there. Uh, we obviously need to get the timings for glass block. So... I'll use this last one to get some timing on that, I think. Uh, that requires a redstone signal. Uh, and that will go there. All right, back in a moment. All right, um, so we've got the glass production going. Um, we've got a little bit of that on us. We have timed it at... Uh, 420 ticks which is what divided by 20 
about 21 seconds with a 20 second delay so oh, sorry 20 delay so 22 yeah. seconds give or take not quite that maybe a little bit less but obviously that is doing its thing now completely auto automa automa automatically now what I would like to automate is the production of this stuff but that will have to wait for another day I think um, or it may get ha happen soon it all depends on how how unpleasant this decides to be but I've made some asphalt concrete and I started working over here however I don't want to waste the concrete such as this oops not that one but you know you get the point this this is wasteful um, I, why, for one you wouldn't also build with that but you might use something like the native stone in the area running around like that so that will give us a a different border but at least one that doesn't waste the materials that we're building with because I say they're expensive well not expensive they're just pain to make probably is a more appropriate way of describing them um, and my garden area is going to come all the way around here and it's around here Now, I did make those out of chisel bluestone, didn't I? Seared stone. Oh, okay. Might use bluestone for the fences just because it's easier to get. But first things first, let's cl clear out this corner. So the plan is to run and get all of this area asphalted um, all the way down to here in the first instance and and then we shall make more and do some more area and then we'll make more and do some more area and so on and so forth and I'm going to start building a fence around and then once as we build the fence I can work on getting these areas fully lit and safe which of course is my main concern they've got a lot of very 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 expensive equipment going on out here and uh, I really don't want to get it blown up. Um, I'll just continue this out a little bit. I'm not worried about these crops. They are, for the most part, useless to me now. I've got the means to make a cloche, should I wish. Um, yeah. And maybe... Maybe to here, actually, like that. Yeah, I think that would work. We can, and we can fence right up to this then. Um, and make this a uh, secure area as well. Uh, yeah, that works, I think. Right, let me do a little bit more work. I'll be... Um, what we're going to do, I think... We'll start as we're going to get rid of all of this these plants or, or I'll use them somewhere we'll pop them out of the way that kind of works doesn't it I suppose rather than wasting them don't think I can do anything with those so they can all go over there along with those and those and all of that and that and that and that okay yeah so you got the plan I'm going to get on with it see you in a moment all right um we got some of the basic work done. Um, well, basic. So we've got a fence that goes all the way around. Uh, well, it doesn't go all the way. It goes all the way around the bits I've done in black asphalt. And uh, we've got lighting on the top. This area is, you can see I've got the lighting indicator on, so you can see this area is fully lit. Um, I've used glowstone in some of the slabs here. I could have possibly made this asphalt go much further just by using a thin layer of asphalt on top of dirt. I may still do that because it is painful to make. Um, although there is an alternative option to it, so you know, swings, roundabouts. However, 
the, the fence goes around here, comes over the top here. I've built a little wall way down into here so we can see that this is doing. Obviously, it's not generating anything at the moment because we're still... I've turned you off, this thing, and that is still pumping oil. The fence is going to come... Well, this bit isn't spawn proof, actually, so uh, maybe we should fix that by... Bang! That will do the trick. And, of course, the other problem we have up there for no spawn proofness is this. This itself... Oh, and, and technically that. Although I don't think things can spawn on there. I've, this can be spawned. So we need to, I think, illuminate this somehow. I have... Uh, I've used immersive engineering lanterns, so that should work. This will continue around to here, and the gate is going to be the gate in is going to come through here, and we're going to relocate the um, evil, um, you know, this abyssal craft thing. So the gate will come in here. Um, we're going to have another one of these that is going to be over here somewhere, and we'll need to reroute our wires. Um, and which will give us another three of those if we used it that way. I haven't decided yet. We may have another one of these, but we need to make sure we leave space for it. So that leaves us where we're going to start building our building. And uh, actually, we've got a little bit left here. Let me just one, two, three, four, five. Let me just put these in here just to indicate. So I want a bit wider there, and then the building will come around here. Um, probably need a little bit more of this stuff, but we also need to sleep. But the building itself is going to come from here. Uh, no, it's not. Hang on. Let me get this right. It's going to be on here, here to here, and then it's going to come all the way up to here. Uh, and obviously that's going to continue all the way up and then we'll do something else with the roof. I haven't exactly decided on the final design for it yet. I do need to make some more of this, so I'll get that done, and I'll be back with you in a mo to tackle some of the building. Back in a mo. All right, um, roof time. Uh, it's going to come over from here, like uh, the usual good old roof design. The roof itself is going to come to here, but that's going to be, so that's going to be the first block uh we need to stream that back to what there that seems about right nope oh, bum. This is where this gets fun, of course, because now we can jump into placement mode and come up like so. And then here, ah, run out. Two, three. And we'll swap you back out to replace. And then we shall do a placement. And that should give us a reasonable roof shape uh, right so then what I want to do is I've got slate which we can convert into a slate roof from rustic and we're going to come on here I think uh, with that and we're going to take out the square bits there. I'm going to take you and make you into a connected material. So that fills in like so. Right, not quite. I'm going to take the limestone, which is a really standard piece of my my repertoire in this kind of building. Ah. Can't get up. A bit of limestone will do the trick, I suppose. And then we're going to duplicate that. We're going to duplicate you. And we're just going to put it in placement mode if we can. So that will go there. Now we are going to need to 
do a couple of these as replacement mode. So otherwise we'll end up with a mess. Uh, right, and then how do I do this? I'm going to take, I'm actually going to take the, this out, I think. Until we've got back to this. Because what I think I want to do is place one of those, jump in there, uh, grab that and replace that. And that, uh, that's going to hurt. <laughs> And then we need to, can I do, can I make that jump? I should be able to make that jump, surely, yes. Do that, and we're going to go with additive, and we're going to do that. And then we should be able to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, um, yeah, that's... That's how that's going to go, isn't it? Just bring this in a little bit. Make a soup. Take that up and then cap it off with some of this. Let's go and have a look how that looks. If I can stay on the fence. Yeah, looks alright. Repeat it on the side, sort out the top, back in a moment. Alright, I've been at this for a while now. I know I'm only about 22 minutes into the episode, but we are going to cut this one a little bit short. Um, I'm going to get a lot of this built off camera. Um, just because it, it is very, 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 very tedious. Um, but, uh, oh, damn it, I've run out of stuff. Uh, okay, let me just fix that one with a little bit of... Uh, oh, I only want a couple of those, don't I? And that. And then we'll just chop that down. I'll do the other one as well, because we can. But yeah, it's... Um, this is a, a, a long job. I just did do that, didn't I? That is the right glass. All right, what's going on here then? Because I'm positive that that is the right glass. I've lost myself. There we go. That is not the right glass. That's why. Okay, right. Um, take out that. Get that one down. Back as a solid block. One, two. Hang on. It's going to be that side. Chisel. Uh, now, what should that have been then? I did that, and it should have been dungeon. Okay, that's fine. Oh, hang on. Helps if you... get the right thing. 
There you go. And then chop it up. And then we can do uh, re replace. Bang, bang. <laughs> Helps if you get the right glass, doesn't it? Anyway, let's just go and step back from this because I need a screenshot anyway. I'm going to pick you up and we'll just put you out of sight over here. So we've got up to the gate. The Delway entrance for the building is going to be here. We've got a roof on across to here. We've got glass in. Um, I need to come up with something for the gateway. And obviously, I do need to re remove this and put a path in and some steps and yada yada. Uh, but let us, I don't know, let's try from over here for starters. No, you can't really see anything for that tree. Great. Um, hmm. Not really helping me to get a good screenshot. Hmm. Try from the window, see what we get. Do, do, do. But yeah, I am. I'm not rushing the tech to be honest, because I'm enjoying the build. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, you can't really see it very well from there, but gives you an idea, I suppose. Anyway, um, yeah. So big thanks for Neil for the suggestions for the improvements on that. That helped a great deal. Uh, and thanks for everybody else who put gave me comments on, on all my series over the uh, vacation. But, um, you know, there was a lot of them. And uh, I, do, I do try to reply to everything, as you know, eventually, sometimes. <laughs> but, yeah, I'll get a screenshot of that. We'll continue building that into uh, the next episode. Hopefully get to the point where we can start reinstalling our tech and machinery. And, um, and obviously... Where's me? Oh, it's under it's always achievement based on this one, isn't it? obviously move this forward to take us through to the end now i'm still a little bit wary about this end malarkey in this pack um because we haven't got a jet pack uh we have no hang glider um about the nearest thing we can get to flight is that charm i was after in things or isn't there a, an astral let me just have a look uh, let me try Astro at Astral. There probably is a way to get some kind of flight. Huh. Possibly one of these mantles of the stars. Huh. At a guess. Uh, although which one it huh. be, I'm not entirely sure. But And also that is quite a way down the old uh, Astral Sorcery tech tree. But I must admit, I am... I'm a little bit of a coward when it comes to uh, to the dragon, and I like to try... Oh, I, of course, that's... I'm thinking that tree wasn't here before, and of course it wasn't here before, because I chucked a sapling into the water and it's self-planted. Duh. Oh, well, I'll, uh, I'll find a place to uh, think plant that and, and get a screenshot and all of the relevant bits and pieces but um, on that note yeah thank you as per usual thank you very much for watching uh, and uh, I think that might be this position oh, I also need some lamps for these as well don't I but we're getting there we are coming to the point where we have an industrial section um, so until next time thanks for watching Bye for now.